And feeling those temperatures is our Angela Bohan. She is on the roof of our News 3 studios here in downtown Norfolk. Angela, who did you who did you get uh, like you, you must have upset somebody to get the short <laughs> straw to be up on the roof. You're closer to the sun. All right. Um, so it's July. You know, it's it shouldn't be a surprise that it's this hot, but we have to be careful mm -hmm. not to overdo it, like be up on top on the roof. That's right, I'll tell you, this top right here is definitely hot, but there's precautions that you can take. Of course, we're not staying out for prolonged periods of time. I have light clothing on, my hair up. I have plenty of water here. I even have a mister. I think I, this is great when you're out and about running errands. You can have that to keep your body cool. Another trick is to put a towel in some ice water and wrap that around your neck or put it on your head. One of the doctors I talked with today recommends that to keep your body cool. Now, we did talk with a tennis instructor today out in the heat doing a camp. She talked with us about how she stays cool. With this Virginia heat, freeze your water. Only because by the time you get to drink it, it's refreshing and it is chilled to the, enough so that it can cool you down quicker. Okay, here we go. Instructor Janice Henderson says she keeps a close eye on the players to watch for signs of heat exhaustion. Signs like excessive sweating, being dizzy or pale, having cramps. In that case, experts recommend finding air condition or shade and drinking lots of water. But signs of heat stroke are more urgent if you have a throbbing headache, are not sweating, and have a fast pulse. A physician assistant I talked with at Patient First said the heat can affect the older population more as well as those with other risk factors. Then there's people who may be obese, not as well in shape, so they have a harder time kind of uh, getting rid of the excess heat. He recommends avoiding that iced tea or iced coffee that might be tempting because it's caffeinated and can actually cause you to become more dehydrated. At least get in front of a fan to help with the evaporative cooling effect, especially here because it's humidity. If there's low wind, you're not going to get that evaporative cooling effect that you'd normally see on a windy day. Don't try and be a, a hero and go that last mile if you're running or do whatever. It's, uh, you know, it's something that you really don't want to do. It's not worth the risk. Now, if you do not have air conditioning at home, remember most cities in our area have designated cooling stations. Typically, those are the libraries or maybe a mall so you can get out of the most intense heat in the middle of the day. We do hope that everyone is staying safe. At least we have a breeze up here on the rooftop. We're going to go find some air conditioning. Live in downtown Norfolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.